Ladies and gentlemen of the Predator-verse, the Pedoverse, whatever you want to call it, once in a great while, we are privileged to experience a broadcasted event so extraordinary it becomes part of our shared heritage. 1969, man walks on the moon. 1971, man walks on the moon again. Then for a long time, nothing happened. Until tonight. Behold, the future of comedy, Codcast 12. I'm your host, Joey Jojo Jr. Shabadoo. And you're... That's the worst name I've ever heard. (laughs) (laughs) Joey Jojo! And you're locked into another epic roundtable discussion about everyone's favorite Dateline segment. We have a packed house today and shouldn't waste any more time, so let's get right into our show's sponsors. <clears throat> Hi, since it's the most patriotic time of the year again, please consider picking up one of Auntie Adriana's homemade apple pies. <laughs> My pies go perfectly with a nice, cool Heineken and handful of Tums. This year, bring in America's birthday with Auntie Adriana's home-baked apple pies. (laughs) Attention, anyone looking to buy or sell a home, don't talk to anyone until you come talk to Aladdin's Real Estate Company. Aladdin has years of real estate experience and can help you find the perfect home. Three bath, two full, and one half, he'll find it. Aladdin is known as the real estate genie for a reason. Your wish is his command. (laughs) Let Al work his magic, and you'll be laying on your new kitchen floor before you know it. (laughs) Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Well, uh, let's get right into it, shall we, guys? As I've said before, we have a pretty full house today, so why don't uh, we have everyone introduce themselves in alphabetical order? Think that's me, then, isn't it? (laughs) So, go ahead. Yeah, hi everybody. So uh, this is the first time. It's Andrew Burkett. For anybody that is uh, not familiar, you might have seen me analyze Lauren. I analyze Lauren intently. Um, yeah, so I'm glad to be here. Um, we've got a lot to discuss, haven't we? Yeah. But yeah. you are. This is Ember Inferno, and I am very excited to have Andrew here and other newbies. And I have a surprise for us later on in the call, but I'm not going to say what it is right now. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I took spelling in school. So I'm Joey Jeremiah. Hello, everybody. This is going to be fun. Hi, guys. It's Michelle Simpson. I just want to say hi to all the sexy Arr. podcast listeners. And I am not. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, hello, everybody. This is Mike V. Um, pleasure to be here on Codcast Con- again with everybody, uh, with all my friends who, who whom I've never met. Uh, you know, we do importing, exporting, but yeah, you know, Mike mo- v. most of them turned out to be guys. Half, well, more than half the time. <laughs> we got another one in here. Who's our Who's our last uh, participant there? Better not re- be recording me. Hey, this is uh, this is Arrested Development. Um, uh, you all know I make uh, fucked up videos about our uh, our good friends here. Um, in particular, Mr. Armstrong, who I, I love dearly. So this should be fun. And uh, thanks for having me. Oh, oh yeah. happy to have you. Yeah, guys. Um, right. thanks thanks everybody for coming on. Uh, there's we can talk about whatever we want to talk about today, but there is one thing on the agenda, and that is the new Lorne phone calls. So they're they're new to most of us, though the you know the people that have been calling them may have been sitting on them for some time now. What yeah. do you guys make of all these calls? It's like the second you know Lorne gasm almost. It's it's a revelation into Lorne's psyche as a human being. Um, what do you guys have to say about it? Lorne is best at binge binge listening. Um, it's like Shark Week, but it's Lorn Week, and it's been nothing short of amazing. Yeah, the the Joey was very kind enough to share, I think, a three-hour Lorn Fest with me about two months ago. Me and Adam were listening to it, and it was not being able to talk about it. It was torture because everything that I wanted to hear Lorn say and discuss and be put on the spot with was contained within them three hours. It was the phone call with his mum. It was like it was scripted. Part of me thought that 
Lorn has been having us all along because how could he say the things and his mum calling him out saying these people they don't like you they're taking the piss out of you <laughs> it's like his own mum I wonder if his mum's a closet lornographer <laughs> she might very well be someone in the comments section we need to figure out who it is <laughs> maybe I'm his mom Oh, that, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a conspiracy theory and a half. so charismatic and you like him, but then he just shits all over you and you have to hate him after that. Mm-hmm. And he, it's like listening to a toddler debate when he tries to argue with women. It's funny, just a lot of, no, I didn't, no, I'm not, you know, nobody else does this, and throwing the blame around. And it's honestly... It's quite admirable that he's able to just stick to his guns no matter what sort of proof is flung at him. You know, no matter what, he's it's, never he's never owned right. anything on the first time he was it's called incredible. out for it. Eventually, I, I, yeah. after you present all the evidence against him and you show him actual, you make him listen to his actual voice, then maybe he might come around to it, but you will never get him to admit to anything the first time around. And even was, once you do and catch him and he admits he's wrong, he never apologizes. The, the best you never hear him say I'm sorry. I you're talked stupid. With, uh, with Adam about this last night. Is that uh, when he, he he says on that call, how do, how does Emma know about my asshole picture? And Ramona <laughs> says, you you told her. He's like, no, I didn't. And she goes, let me play the tape. And he's like, I don't want to hear it because I know he didn't say it. And then she plays the tape of him telling her about his asshole, his his literal asshole. <laughs> and he's like, oh, maybe I maybe I did say that. Okay. I in our little impromptu uh, hangout yesterday, hosted by the wonderful Andrew Burkhead. Thank you, by the way, for doing that. I, I brought have to say, what, what do you believe to be Lauren's greatest vice? Is it the internet? Is it alcohol? Or is it women? And it might be a three way tie for first, but I honest, I honestly think it's the internet. I think that's his biggest vice because without it, he would just be your average everyday loser trying to pick up women at the bar or whatever he he's a, he can be a drunk he can be a you know uh, he could be a lonely loser but there's a million of those in the world there's only one lauren armstrong and that's because of the internet it's because of what he's become as a meme from the show and everything he's done after and his refusal to stay quiet and to stay off the internet so i think his greatest vice is the internet what do you guys have to say i think I women <clears throat> You think it's, uh, would you say women? You Go think it's his greatest vice? Yeah, I think it's women. Everything he does is based upon women. Right, and I think that's the only reason he was interested in the internet in the first place. He never uses it for anything good, like to help with spelling or to learn new guitar chords <laughs> or anything like that. It's based on to pursue women. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness. I just got a message from somebody um, named Ramona. <gasps> what? What? Yeah. What? What? Uh, what? Yeah, uh-huh. yes. I actually asked her if she <laughs> would be willing uh-huh. to answer a few questions for us yeah. on Skype. So I would like to add her. Maybe do you have a question or two for her? What? No way. <laughs> oh, gee, this 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 is going to ruin the podcast. Oh, it's going to be on YouTube questions. and TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, I, I'm in favor. I say let's bring her on. What do you guys think? Sure, sure. Fuck yeah, bring That's it on. A... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add yeah. her. Yeah. Come on, let's go for it. Okay, I added her to the call. Let's see if she can hear us. Hello, Ramona. Hello. Hey. hey. It's so. Oh my God. Hello. Hey. On. Hi guys. How how is everyone? Fine. How are you, Ramona? I'm doing pretty well. Good. I'm a, good. I'm a big fan of your work. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hi, Ramona. It's uh, Michelle. I just wanted to apologize for if I caused any problems in your relationship. Right. When I pursued Lauren, I didn't know he was in a relationship. Uh, no, no worries. Um, but I, I will answer some questions tonight at varying intervals um, throughout the night while you guys are talking. But um, the only thing I'm not going to answer is questions about my relationship with Lauren. Oh, but enough. I will answer factual questions about him to maybe set the record but however it needs to be set. <laughs> and um, I will answer select questions about myself. 
But can I can I dive right in first then, Ramona? Dive right in. It's uh, Andrew Burkett. I make quite a lot of videos about lawn. And a lot of um, money from it, right? I've, <laughs> <laughs> uh, never, I've never made a taxable penny. So if anybody would like to clarify that with him. but Can they tax a penny? No, sorry? <laughs> can they tax a penny? <laughs> I'm sure they've tried. <laughs> <laughs> like how you, when you go get gas, it can't just be like 189. It has to be like... One eighty nine and nine tenths of a penny. <laughs> Question: I'll have to look into that. <laughs> One eighty nine. Where are you from? I think you're asking the wrong guy. You think somebody from the UK knows anything about taxes and taxing? You know, that's very true. We, 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 we've not got a clue over here. Finances, money, oil. Not a anyway, clue. You, you had a question. Go ahead. It was just to kind of. This is a very open, broad question, but. I want to know what Ramona's impressions of Lorne's qualities are. What 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 do you think Lorne's qualities are, Ramona? Um, I I would say Lorne's best quality is that he is funny. That is that is Lorne's best quality. But directly he... funny or indirectly funny? Well, we're not talking about his looks, right? <laughs> um. Is he directly funny or is he indirectly funny? Both. It, it, Both. Right, okay, because I, I believe, or I think everybody would agree that he is unintentionally funny, if you get what I mean. Absolutely. What's the funniest joke or little, um, I guess, little joke that Lauren's ever made with you? Um, that you really laughed at because it was actually funny and he was trying to be funny. Um... <laughs> let's, let, let's come back to that one because that one I'm going to think on and, okay. and think I'd like to lot of fun. mine if I could just really quickly um, yeah. I thought it was funny when I told him I was really excited for Lurch and he said you'd be the first one I thought that was really that was a really good <laughs> joke of his uh, Ramona oh. last we heard he was jobless is he still unemployed or is he looking for a job he is going to start his septic business back up. Piece of is, shit. <laughs> is what he says. How is he going to afford to do that with uh, being unemployed right now and all? Um, he is going to use some of his money from unemployment and he is going to and and he says it really doesn't cost that much to start it up he's going to try and place some free ads in various newspapers he just gets a big hose and he just sucks it out right <laughs> yeah, but don't you need a generator and tools he and... has a shit tube but and he doesn't even does he does his car work right now no um right now he's using his mom's car and because his car the transmission is busted so what he wants to do is he wants to buy a truck and take the tra- like a, a working truck and take the transmission out of that truck and put it into his I was going to ask about that truck. one hey uh, Ramona I got a question about um, Lawrence not being on the internet anymore um, what happened to his phone and his computer his probation officer took um, those she confiscated those um why? It's there's there's different theories as to why. Um, Ember's channel could be one of them. Uh, they didn't tell him why. Perhaps when she signed on as his probation officer, um, when she signed on as to uh, to be his probation officer, um, she might have gone through his phone and seen numerous and consistent um, nude photos and videos that he sent me of himself. Will so he be getting took his wait, they took his computer and they just completely threw it away? I don't or I don't I don't Are think they going they, through it? I don't know I don't know because they have had it for gosh, about two months now I think. Have they given him an update? Will he get it back? He's not from what he tells me, he's not really pressing to have it back. 
he he's, he's saying that he's content being offline, and so he's not really pressing to get it back. Did they tell him he needs to stay offline? Um, for the most part, they ha- they have. I don't know if it was um, like you cannot go online anymore, right? Because I mean, everyone knows his mom has the internet, so right. Um, um, and is he worried? Will he break his parole? Could they send him back to prison if he has sent lots of naked pictures of himself? I don't think they would because of that. Just because. If she was going to, I think they already would have because there was ample evidence of violating parole, um, driving drunk, that kind of thing. So I don't think driving drunk. What did what did they get him driving drunk? Um, well, he he admitted to me that he had ah. driven drunk that night. Um, but other than that, he hasn't done anything that is like a smoking gun to put him back in jail. Sure. Wait, so um, he has male officers going through his computer looking at his naked body? Well, is that what this, you're saying? His most recent one is a female. His most, most recent probation officer is a female, but since his other ones have been males, I would say that yes, there is a very good chance that his. You know, <laughs> and they've seen his literal are, asshole. They've seen yes. his literal ass. That's amazing. They have, they mostly have. Has Lauren, uh, besides in the way that we already know he does, uh, does Lauren want to have children someday? Yes, he does. Oh. Lauren wants to be a father one day. Has he ever considered adoption? I don't. Think so. He's he's never said that. He's he has expressed that he wants children of his own, but he has never mentioned adoption. So I don't think an RSO is going to be able to adopt kids. I could be wrong. If he's able to, in the winter months when it's difficult to get exercise outside, do you believe that he would tie the toddler to a treadmill? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's that's funny. Apparently, if the toddler likes treadmill right. and <laughs> gets on the treadmill, then there is a good chance that the toddler would be tied to the treadmill by his or her neck. Ramona, I have two questions. You can answer both or just one, whatever. I want to know, what is the most interesting thing you've learned about Lorne in your time with him? And also, what is the longest amount of time you two have spent talking on the phone together? Okay, the second one I'm ashamed to say, <laughs> but um, the first one, the answer to the first question, ah, what's the most interesting thing I have learned? Anything about his past or the sting or anything Baby, that you didn't know? She's thinking. I'm thinking, hang on. There must be a lot then. I I would say... The most interesting thing that I have learned about Lauren, one of the interesting things that I've learned about Lauren is his social security number that he sent me. He sent me a picture of his social security card one night when he was drunk. Why? Oh, oh, you know what? The most interesting thing I've learned about Lauren is that his record of beers, I think, is 22 in one night. What what type of beer does he drink? Um, what brand? Like, Bud Light. What kind of Bud cigarettes Light. did and he smoke? And his dog Bud was named after. Uh, yeah. Bud Light. Oh, yeah, okay. we should have guessed. I can't <laughs> believe we didn't cotton on to that. Now, <laughs> what does he think of some of the other people in this community? Like, what does he think of Ember right now? Does he, he does he even think of us anymore? Is it mostly about you now, or what? He doesn't trust her, and um, you know, and I and I told him that you know I think she's a, she's been a good friend to him. Um, but he he doesn't trust her, and he's not an Ember fan right now. Mm. Oh, so now so now we have to choose between Team Lorne and Team Ember. Gosh, <laughs> now is he, Ramona has he he used to make videos of his twenty dollar payments to Betty. Is he still paying Betty at all? He is not, and I will tell you factually what he said when I asked him most recently. I have. Um, 
basically campaigned since I since I started talking to him. I, I have campaigned right. for him to pay her as much and as often as he can. And there was one day when I asked him when he's going to pay her back or when when he's going to start making payments. And he said, quote, she does not keep her mouth shut. He was going to work for her, but um, like he was going to do work for her. But since, quote, she can't keep her mouth shut, he's not going to and he'll just pay her. And I said, you know, well, when does she start getting payments again? She probably really needs that money. And his answer to me was, and I quote, um, if she needs money, that bitch can go get a job. She's not fucking disabled. And I said, well, isn't she an elderly lady? She might be old, but she can fucking work, was the response that I received. She can work, but Lauren can't. He's such a dick. Um, since he's unemployed, how is he paying the rent on his trailer? Does he own it? Um, he's not, but he is getting unemployment. Isn't the trailer like his uncle's or something? Yes, and he has moved out of the one that he was in and into another one because he is anticipating a death in the family, the death will be of the uncle who owns the trailer that he's moved into. Just so he's on his family. Trailer? Well, no, no, no. That uncle said that he could have it. His, his, his dying uncle has said that he could have it. I believe that uncle owns the trailer outright. So now it's just a matter of him getting land to place the trailer on. Can I ask, Ramona, this is... Um... Potentially, I don't know if you'll genuinely know the answer to this. How many sexual partners has Lorne had, do you believe? That is impossible to know. I'm I'm just really not sure. It's more than 100, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if you it were was... to guess, though, Ramona, because you, I would suggest knowing better than any of us, what would you say... If I, I, I have a big range of what I'm thinking. I Phone think sex could, does not count. <laughs> Neither does Kayla. Real, real partners, I would guess anywhere as low as eight, as much as 200. So, I mean, I'm. According I'm to a, him. Hmm? Like, according to him, through his stories. That that's what I gauge from his stories. I mean, the low end, literally in the in the high single digits. The high end would be in the triple. Digits. Yeah, he told Michelle on the phone call that he hadn't had sex in ten years, right? Ten years, yes, ten years. That's consistent with what I've heard as well. Although he has told me he was engaged in the past. Is that true? Has he told you that? Well, he was engaged to Kayla. And like an actual engagement yes, yes, when he was 25, yeah. he told me. Well, he was in the military. I, I believe how I found that out is when he proposed to me, Wait, I... Wait, he what? Um, what, 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 what? This is new. No way. What? When Did he proposed... Yeah? Well, hold on, I'll get to that. When he proposed to me, I had asked him if he has ever proposed to anyone else before. And he said, no. And I said, um, not even in your chat log. And he said, no. And so I found that he had proposed to the girl in his chat log. So I said, well, is there anybody else that you had proposed to? And he said, no. And Ember told me that that is not true. And so then after he was confronted with that evidence, he came forward and said that he had proposed to someone else in the military, but I can't... I don't remember the details of that. I thought it was Paula, but I don't know if it was her or not, but I know that this other girl also broke his heart and cheated on him. Did he actually meet this girl? Yeah, they were together as far as what, what he told me. And what he told me, they were together. It was around the time he was like 25 or something. Just another question, Ramona. Um, oh. I've got a few. Um, can you? What else can you tell us about Amanda James? Um, 
without mentioning a real name? Well, I one of the videos that I saw that you guys had pretty much summed it up. And the title was, her name is Amanda James, and Lauren didn't go on a date for almost two years because of that bitch. That's what I've heard. Um, that that I, I think she had like said that her niece was her... Or her daughter was her niece, or something like that. I, I, I get them all confused. <laughs> but um, hey, can we real quick before we go on any further? Can we back it up just a second to that whole proposal thing? Um, yes, please. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, so I'm gonna guess you said no, or postponed, or uh, said let me think about it. Uh, and was this recently when this happened? I will tell you guys um, what happened when he proposed. Um, Wait, it is was... it is it really romantic? You should paint like a picture here. I want to I want to be whisked away in your fantasy here. Okay, I will paint. <laughs> it was a bright paint. sunny day. <laughs> well, actually, it was cold, but um, it was it was December twenty fourth, which most people know is also Christmas Eve. And I was about. Oh my gosh! What? I mean, you, how long have you been talking? You haven't been talking to him that long, have you? We started talking in, I believe, November. Oh, okay, so, so he waited geez, a whole month. That's okay. quicker than right. Kayla. Um. So yeah. So we started talking in November, and um, I and so fast forward to Christmas Eve, I had went to visit with some family in about, well, I was about maybe 100, 120 miles away. And I'm playing Scrabble and spending the time with my family. And Lauren got drunk. And this was around maybe 6 o'clock that it started. He started sending me a lot of messages. He started telling me that he was freaking out, um, that he had to say something to me, but that he was really scared. He was just, I mean, he was just, it was constant messages one after the other. And I was saying, well, Lauren, I'm with my family. It's Christmas. He said, well, I need you to go into the bathroom. And so for the next three <laughs> hours, he campaigns to get me to go into the bathroom. He's calling me. In, in three hours, he probably sent me about maybe 100 messages, maybe 200 messages. So and romantic. And eventually, he tell me he proposed while you were on the toilet. Uh, eventually, she would just have to go to the bathroom after a while. And so he had... Called me about ten times, and so saying that he had to ask me something, and that this is very important. This so I, I kept saying, you know, I'm with my family. I have a grandmother who, at the time, she was 95. Now she's 96. Love her very much. She's amazing. And um, and so you know, I also told him that I was with my mom. I basically told him that um. Me and my mom were playing Scrabble, and my 95-year-old grandmother were sing- was singing to us. That's not and important. So- he has news to tell you. Get in yeah. the bathroom. So, so he, so, so this goes on. This, this back and forth goes on for about maybe yeah, for about three hours, four hours, where he's saying, "I, Ramon, I need to talk to you now," and I say, "I'm." I cannot talk at Christmas Eve. I'm spending that time with my family. Ramon, I need to talk to you now. You need to go to the bathroom. So he left me several voicemails expressing his anger, telling me that um, I have thrown him away and that I am not making him a priority and I'm not treating him well and I shouldn't be and you know being an asshole. And so he started getting... So the tone of his messages went from anxious and happy to nervous and 
anxious to very, very angry. And so when he got angry, I called him and he yelled at me for not for not calling him sooner. And I said, well, what is it that you have to ask? And that's when he <laughs> asked me if I would marry him. <laughs> I admire the guy's conviction. And then you said yes, and now what? No. Well, so he's screaming said, and berating you, and then, and then he asked you to marry him. Well, at that time, I had said, uh, can we talk about this when it's not Christmas Eve and I'm trying to spend that time with my family? And he said, yes, he was kind of annoyed when we got off the phone. So I went, spent Christmas Eve with my family, spent Christmas Day with my family. And then I think the next proposal came, mm, I don't know if it was a full month later. It might have been, it might have been a week or two later. And he basically said, Ramona, I know we haven't been talking very long, but you're the girl I want to be with. I've never met anyone else like you. I'm so in love with you. And I want to know if you will marry, if, if you'll marry me. And, and I said, um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. Let's continue getting to know each other. And he told me that there's nothing more that he needs to know about me. He's ready. And he wants me to come up to Maine to live with him in his trailer. Because he can't leave Maine. No, he he is unable to leave Maine while he's in his registered sex offender class. Um, and so I said... I love the state that I live in. My friends are here. My family's here. I'm not moving. So he decided that he would move down here yeah. one day. But um, so his his most recent proposal, I, I've told him, let's wait until we meet. And then we can discuss those kinds of things. And true love was born. And you can tell your yes. grandchildren that Grandpa proposed in the bathroom. Well, technically, yeah. I stepped outside when Grandpa proposed. I, I stepped outside. <laughs> was it snowing beautifully? It was not. It was... That's a great not, story. Not, like, super freezing, but... Well, thanks for sharing that. Um, My I, pleasure. I, 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 I don't know. I'm speechless. Uh, if anybody has any more questions they want to throw out there, go ahead. Otherwise, um, this has taken up a lot of time. But it's been very nice. Uh, th thank you for opening up uh, and answering all of our questions, by the way. We really appreciate that. I want I've to know, learned a lot. How does, yeah, Lauren feel about, how does Lauren feel about getting kind of fat now? Uh-oh. Uh, he, he's a little self-conscious, but he... Um, his main thing is that because he, he, he had told me before, he's like, I'm fat. And I said, no, you're not. And he said that his biggest motivation for not wanting to gain weight was, quote, he does not want to ever be in a position where I cannot see his dick without lifting up his stomach. And he always <laughs> wants uh. to be able to look down and to see his dick. I recall that being I recall that being something that Lorne was very proud of and that he would always be able to look down and see his dick. And he has mentioned that to me maybe three or four times uh, and also pointed toward his biological father who stayed slender his whole life. So all Lorne wants to do is be able to look at and show Mr. Penis. That's much his do you think if if given the opportunity, Lorne would voice himself in cartoon form? Uh, because we happen to have somebody in the call who specializes in, uh, you know, animated um, videos, and I, I I think having Lorne truly embrace his own character and voice a character uh, based on him would be really interesting. Do you think he? Uh, has sold enough on his uh, imp uh, celebrity infamy that he'd be willing to do that, or is he trying to get as far away from that as possible now? He has kind of a love-hate relationship with it. He loves the fact that he is, quote, famous, end quote, but he also uh, doesn't necessarily like it because he's not selling country music. 
Well, fuck Ooh. him. Yeah. Uh, tell tell I, him I, he can I, go out, go ahead. Yeah. I would say, I would. Uh, I hate to say this, but I would actually fucking pay the guy to voice something. Okay. All right. Maybe I wouldn't pay him, but <laughs> you pretend to pay him. You would I, let him. Exactly. You could mail yeah. him a check every a uh, five dollar check every couple. Why don't you tell him you're gonna pay him, and then you can just forward the money to Betty. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> um, Ramona, I got another question, and, and you don't have to answer sure. if you don't want to. But we we've heard, you know, his chat with Kayla, where he talked about mm-hmm. sex all day long. Correct. Um, we we saw his text with Michelle Simpson, where it was all about sticking his hot dog in her taco. Correct. And we've heard uh, Ember's calls, where he just wants pussy pictures. Correct. Um, how do you handle this? I mean, he must be hitting you up for this kind of stuff all the time, like he does everybody else. And how do you? How have you taught him not to? Because we never hear him talking dirty with you. Um, that's a good question because I kind of tamed that. Hmm. He, uh, it's that's 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 difficult to answer. I don't engage in talking right. like that back. So, for instance, when he had his old phone that. I call it a power phone compared to what he has now because he just has just a basic flip phone. So if he wants to type a certain letter, he has to press the button three times. One of those. Right, right. Yep. But um, I mean, I would get the I would get the daily maybe 10, 15 videos of him showering and and doing stuff and that kind of thing. But um, I never really reciprocated. So that that might be part of why but I'll, I'll still get messages like that but I, I don't tend to really respond Okay. I'd, I'd like to go back to the proposal thing if you end up accepting and you have children with him will you allow him near a female child what age any age the only child Yes. Um, like, do you trust him? Do you think he would actually harm a child like he was planning to with Kayla? I think, I think this, I, I think this, the answer to that question can um, be best said, and, and this would go for anyone who's found mm-hmm. themselves in the position that, that he has, um, Anyone, once they cross that line, I think there is a chance that they at some point will. I think there's a higher chance that they will if they've already done it before. Um, I've, I've told him several times before that um, that if I think that if he had succeeded the night of the sting, that there is a very good chance or there's a hundred percent chance that he would have continue to harm children I think that because I said I told him that he would get a he would have gotten a sexual release from it but also there would have been the excitement of getting caught the excitement of doing something that's wrong and so he would have constantly be chasing that thrill so I think for people who have done that before the chance that they're going to do it again is a high likelihood um, for people who have not done that before, but maybe tried, there's a good likelihood that they would try to. Does anybody have uh, final questions for um, our distinguished guest? By the way, I just yeah. oh, I have questions. I've got one. Oh wait, did we, did somebody just jump in? <laughs> oh, Sam Pendleton did. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, Sam! Yes, indeed. Can you all hear me? All right. Yes, yes. we're all kissing. Yes, yes. Hey, Sam. Hi, Hell Sam. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Andrew Burkett, it's real good to talk to you, sir. I've enjoyed your work from a distance. So yeah, me nice too. To uh, I think you should be the last person to ask Ramona a question. I think Sam, it's only fitting. Have, yeah, we have Lauren's girlfriend on oh, the podcast. And um, we just wrapped up asking her questions, but I would love to open it up for you to ask her if if it's okay with her. Uh, that's not all she'd like to open up for you, Sam. That's true, but Sam's well, always been very courteous, no. so I, I can't yeah. I can't really <laughs> express that. No. No. I'm, I'm wide ready. open for questions. <laughs> right on. Um, really? Like, I can ask you anything? 
Well, I, I said the, the, I would answer questions. Isn't that a question? That's your question. Yeah. Can I ask you anything? <laughs> Guys, well, that's your question. I will, used up. I will <laughs> answer questions, um, factual questions about Lauren, factual questions about myself, but nothing about my relationship with Lauren. Okay. Well, then I need to think of another question, I suppose. <laughs> well, what, what was that question? And, and um, I, just, I just really want, nay, need to know. I mean, your feelings for him, is it real? Is it, is it genuine on your end? I mean, I whatever. Shall, I shall plead the fifth because that is a question about our relationship. Right. Okay. Let me ask you this then. Okay. If, <laughs> if for some reason you were to lose all contact with him tonight and he uh, disappeared and you never talked to him again or had any contact, would that be – would that be a, a profound loss for you? I mean, is that something that would f- change your life in some meaningful way? Apart from, obviously, the time investment and time, effort, and energy, and everything that goes into this, is it something that would uh, impact you negatively on an emotional level? Well, I, I mean, I would say anyone who I talk to, I, you know, I would want to keep contact with. But the other answer to that is... I don't see that happening only because he is pretty dedicated to talking to me. I mean, this is a guy who, like, does not want to hang up when he has to call his mom because he doesn't want to not be on the phone with me. So Now, that yeah. brings me back to my question that I don't remember if you answered. You said you were embarrassed oh. to admit it. But what exactly what was your longest consecutive, like, phone call conversation you've ever had with Lauren? It was it was several hours because there was there was one day where um, with with my job I can be on the phone most of the day so I was on the phone like most of the day with him at that particular time and then um, so so we had a very lengthy conversation one day and you guys just kept it going huh you didn't like run out of stuff to talk about you were just learning about each other and just. Shooting the he shit is, and... He's very interesting to talk to. I, I will say that. He's very interesting to talk to. He's very funny. He, I don't um, think any of us can disagree with that. Not intentional, mm-hmm. but, oh, and there was that question. Somebody had asked me the funniest thing he had ever said. I'm trying to, like, narrow it down and, like, single in on the absolute funniest, but there's, he said quite a lot. Ramona, I don't know if we know how you guys met. Through Ember. Ember, the wingman. <laughs> nice. Always trying to hook somebody up. We gotta, we gotta put the hot dog in the taco. Yeah, you really, you really did her a yes. solid there, Ember. You like, you like hot dogs? <laughs> I'd like to offer the funniest thing he ever said was that he would never cheat on you. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Um, hold on. Wait. The funniest thing he's ever said. Now you've got, now you've got my mind jogging in other directions. Um. Might have had to do with responsibility. The funniest? If you can't think of anything, Ramona, just in relation to that, do you think Lorm will ever take responsibility, ever? Full responsibility for what he's done, ever? Probably not. No. <laughs> because why would he, you know? Why, why would he at this point? If he's managed to not do it this long, you know, why all of a sudden start owning up to it? That's true. Um, so, so probably not. Because personal growth is a desirable accomplishment. That's exactly what I was thinking, Sam. It's like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like what? Do you think Ramona, he's going to sooner wanna, be a country be a music star? <laughs> will he learn to be a country music star before he learns to take responsibility? Well, I will say this, and this might answer that question. As of the other day, he's talking about going on America's Got Talent. Oh, <laughs> please. And that's, he's actually please. serious about that, Ramona. We need you to encourage that strongly. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would, be, that would be the greatest, best pleasure. Yeah. Nudge him in that direction, please, for all of our benefits. My goodness. Um, all right. We've been, we've been kind of going at it for a little while. Sam, I'm sorry you joined us so late, but why don't we go around and do some final thoughts on, on our discussion today? Obviously, we were very happy to have our guests. Um, Andrew, thank you so much for staying up so late because uh, I know it's real late where you are. Um, Ramona, obviously, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Arrested Development, uh, you're taking time out of your busy uh, animation schedule, I'm sure. Uh, 
Uh, Mike V, honestly, I can't stand Mike V. Mike V should just leave right now. Uh, yeah, oh! I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, everybody's been so great. Why don't we all go around and say our final thoughts about the Lauren phone calls, about his relationship. If anybody wants to add anything, any last questions they want to throw out there, go ahead. Take it away. I'm anxious to see if the hacker is going to release Lauren's butthole because we all want, we all want it even more than Crestfallen wanted his duffel bags. It's glorious. I respectfully isn't it? disagree. Okay. I just oh, like to say Samuel that Ember can. doesn't speak for Pope Pendleton when, on on that issue. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak for anybody else, but I have little to no interest in seeing that. I I would just like to thank uh, Ramona for. Um, keeping lornography afloat these last weeks i really f- thought that once he dropped offline that would be the end of it in terms of direct contact with the guy well you're welcome i um i appreciate your guys kindness and um as yeah, strange as it know. sounds in our investment we honestly kind i i might be speaking for myself but i kind of hope he comes out okay honestly i hope Eventually, everything clicks in, and the guy just kind of gets it, and things just start to... Yeah, nobody wishes him any real harm. I, can I, I really can I just, don't. Can yeah. I just say, Ramona, the, the way that you talk to him and seem to manage him is nothing short of brilliant. I'm not doing this to try and, you know... It's just brilliant to listen to the way that you go about things. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Ramona, will there be a, a Ramona... Lauren in face to face meeting anytime soon? Probably not. Tell him as soon as he gets the ring. <laughs> so how long would he be willing to sorry to jump in guys. Ramona, how long would he be willing to carry on this relationship? You've just said you no meeting anytime soon. How long would he be willing to carry on without meeting you? That's something that confuses me. That's a good question. Um I guess it's one of those time will tell type things. He he chatted with Amanda James for how long? Two years. Good point. Several years. Good point. Now, what happens in in a in a couple of months if you need a septic tank? Are you going to give him a call? <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't he can't leave Maine. Oh right. He might sneak out if you know you can get it for free. You can convince him to sneak out. I, I think the funniest thing that Lauren has said, going back to that question, is that he adamantly, adamantly says and has said before that he was not going to have sex that night and that he didn't want to go to this thing house. Yet he bought condoms. Oops. He bought them because he likes to keep them in his truck and it was just a coincidence. Exactly. What he said. Which is why he wasn't surprised when she asked him about the condoms, and he excitedly told her where they were and offered to go get them. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Ramon, Uh, one more stupid question. Sure. Uh, Boxers or briefs with Lauren or Commando? Uh, Wait, what about Amanda, you said? Uh, Commando. 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 Oh, um, he wears... Um, Does he spend most of his day with clothes on or off? Off, and I think it's boxers. Boxers, okay. I think I can't. I, or is it boxer briefs? Boxers, boxer briefs. It's one of those two. Hmm. And I have, a, I have a photo of him pulling Mister Penis out of the hole of some <laughs> white, tidy white man <laughs> panties. So. <laughs> I know that he owns and has worn a pair of tidy white man panties, um, <laughs> but that's just that's just me. Ain't the true. videos that I received every day back when he had his old phone was uh, he he had two or three pairs of jeans that he wore to work, and each pair of these jeans had a hole right where his penis would be, and so. He would always <laughs> take the head out. Ah! What the hell? Clever bastard. Take pictures. Doesn't While this he's a... driving the semi, he would take pictures of his yes. penis sticking out of his penis. Would he yes. give like a funny caption yes. like, heads up? Or, <laughs> out no. He, went, he sent Sometimes me a picture like cap- that. You could, see his, you could see everything in his truck 
First, he sent me a beautiful picture of the mountains, and he said, this is what I'm looking at right now. And then he sent me a picture of him sitting in his truck with his weenie out and said, this is what you're looking at right now. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't that... that's what I mean by Lauren has a sense of humor. You just got punked. That's so funny. From the mountains. Ramona, does it, is, it, is it troubling to you when people say mean spirited things about Lorne or disparaging things about him or um, share their fantasies of violence toward him? Does that bother you? Does it, is it, is it, I mean, do you take offense to it on his behalf? I, I don't take offense to it um, because. Yeah, I'm. I'm not offended by it. No. She hasn't done anything wrong. She she doesn't need to be offended by it. No, but I'm. You know, if, like if I know what you mean. Had a yeah. Friend and somebody just mm. that sort yeah. of thing. So if I, you know, talked about things that I would like to do to him if I had him in front of me, that <laughs> give him a big handshake, maybe a hug, right, it Sam? Be, it would be yeah. different from what Arnold wanted to do with him. Hey, Ramona. Well, yes, and. and Yes, Ember, and going back to what um, one of you guys just said, as as I told him, because he he wants to repair his reputation so that he can become a country music singer, and um, I told him that in America, two of the things that you can do that kind of make redeeming your person or redeeming your reputation impossible are a crime against a child and in some cases a crime against an animal so crime but a crime against a child and a sex crime and i said you basically combine the two um so it's gonna be like next to impossible to get your reputation to what you want it to be because you committed a crime against a child and you committed a sex crime at the same time. Ramona, you, speaking of crimes against animals, um, we heard on the last call about Warren beating his dogs, but then Warren said that he just, you know, smacked it a little bit. Do you think he is abusing his dogs? I'm not saying like he's a bad owner and maybe a little rough with them, but do you really think he's beating his dogs? I, I hope not. I, um, I, it, it's tough for me to say just because I'm 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 not there. The the one thing that I would hate is to say yes, I think he does, and and in reality he doesn't, or to say no, he doesn't, and in reality he does. So um, I'll say this: I I've seen no evidence to believe that he is outrageously abusive toward them. Um, it's just one of those things that's difficult to say just because I'm not there. Right. Okay. Well, all right, guys. Um, guys! On that note, I would like to say thank you to all of our participants. And now is the time to wrap things up. If everybody can go around and promote their own channel, but um, just because Andrew and I have a bit of a feud going on, I'd like everybody to imperson- do an impression of a Simpsons character when they promote their channel. If you can. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh yes. Go ahead. Plug your own channels, guys. My vagina oh, right. okay, smells I'll... like cat food. Sorry. God damn. <laughs> Is that Stuart <laughs> from Mad TV? <laughs> no, oh, sure. Go again. It was supposed to be Ralph Wiggum, but I did. I'll, I'll do it as Stuart. <laughs> um, Look what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> my channel smells like cat food, and uh, you'll find no ha has on it. <laughs> 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 Please subscribe to my channel. It is clearly the cleanest. Best pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> I have eyes in the back of my head. Subscribe to my channel now, otherwise you'll be fired. That's Andrew Burkett. Excellent. <laughs> that was amazing. Well done. That was awesome. Hey, this is Sam Pendleton from the uh, Lost Simpsons episode where Sam Pendleton appears. <laughs> 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 My channel is Sam Pendleton. I've been reading uh, chapters from Lauren's book in various styles, and um, I do want to apologize to anyone out there who may be waiting on chapter three, which I posted a preview for about a month ago. 
and uh, had, have just found it extraordinarily difficult to to uh, carve out the time and motivate myself to finish it. But I will do it soon, and uh, I'm possibly working on another rap song for Chapter Four. And uh, so, word uh, to your check. mother. Yes, I'll tell her when I see her. But uh, anyway, come check it out. Yeah. Did you actually? Did you actually pay money for that book? Um, that I really don't think that needs to be discussed at this point. <laughs> don't. Well, well, if you don't. if you did some, send me when you've read it. It'll save me the bother. Right on. You got it. Although you'll still Hi, have. Hi everybody. It's damn. Shut up for once. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hi, Doctor Nick. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't have a YouTube channel. I just comment on uh, Lauren's videos, but it's Michelle Simpson, and I uh, wish you the best, Ramona. Thank you. That's so kind. I wish you the best as well. Um, I don't have a channel either, I, although I, I apparently appear on everyone else's channel. But I will tell you guys a fun fact that nobody thought of, and I wasn't expecting guys to ask me this, but I thought of it in closing, and... Um, I don't think this is known, but I am the driving force behind Lauren's vegan videos. Um, I am mm, porkless bites. Mm. <laughs> I I am vegan, and all of those recipes are are delicious. What he did with them, I don't know, but he he does <laughs> he did like them. Um, the the porkless bites seem to be the one that people are talking about a lot. They are what, what are they, Ramona? Please tell us. I'm they sorry to are... drag this out, but. <laughs> they are um, from a company called Gardein, and they're in the frozen department of many grocery stores. Even Walmart has them, and that's where he got them from was Walmart. And uh, they come in like a bag. You just throw some oil, or I use vegan butter in the pan and salt them up, pour the sauce on them, have it over rice. They are amazing. And so I... I've been vegan. This is my but tenth why year. Why they called portless bites? It's like saying they, a cheeseless they, cheeseburger. Well, we have those too, but they ooh, taste. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lot. Do they have vegan bologna? <laughs> yes, yes, they do. In fact, I had him buy some. I had him buy some vegan bologna, um, and he put it on a salad. But yeah, so they they have all sorts of that kind of vegan stuff, and so I. You know, I said, well, why don't, you know, if you're going to do a show, why don't you try a vegan cooking show? There's a lot of people who are vegan. And I I had a joke with him. I said, you know, I can only imagine how funny it would be for someone to Google, like, vegan pizza and end up at your channel. And they're like, oh, you know, how did, you know, who's this guy? And they look, and I said to him, and they look you up, and then they find out who you are. I, I thought that was so funny. But yeah, so uh, I'm the driving force behind the vegan videos. The food is, is delicious, and he seems to like it. Is he trying for full time veganism, <laughs> or is it just uh, something he experiments with for your benefit? Or he, he like he making juices. We're losing you, Ramona. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're good now. Okay, yeah, he he likes making his fruit juices and salads and stuff and so you know everyone likes to try new things and try good food so he, he really seems to enjoy doing, it, doing those shows but um, as to whether or not he'll be back online I'm not sure um, you know I told him that it, you know I, I think his audience will be there for him when he gets back if he, he decides to go and if not don't miss well, you know, once he signs the record contract, then he'll have an official website, and but the label will take care of all that for him. <laughs> yeah, he um, wants to make an album to sell to members of the community. Is that, is that separate from the photo album of penis pictures that we have of his? <laughs> I wonder which one will sell better. <laughs> um, um, right. Did anybody... Um, did anybody not go uh, it, it plug their channel yet? But you have to um, do it in the voice. Arrested development. Uh, nope, not me. Um, so since we're talking about vegetables, if you want to see Lauren get cornholed, you can watch my channel. Um, since I have to do uh, a Simpsons thing, 
I'm learning. <laughs> Ralphie. Uh, but Ember already did Ralph Wiggum. Yeah, come on. Hey, I don't talk about my personal sexual relationships either, okay? Don't. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. Um, am I the only one left? Yeah. Yeah. What? What do you want? Do you want crappy uh, impressions like this crappy Simpsons impression of the old Jewish guy on the channel? Check out Mike <laughs> V's channel then. He swallowed his computer. Get him some Epicac so he can expunge it. Worst channel ever. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us for another podcast. <laughs> it's been Jesus pretty Christ. weird, as always. <laughs> Cut. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Lauren? Yes, who's this? Uh, this is Michelle. Do you remember me? Hello? He oh, up. come on. What a lame. What the the plot he hung up. God. God. He hates me. Baloney. Come on. Maybe we needed the tranny voice to do it. The tranny can call him back. He was into the tranny. <laughs> he did like the no, tranny. Didn't he? he yelled at the tranny. Okay, I'm going to call him back. <laughs> Gosh, come on. <laughs> oh, okay. man. All right, you get one more. <laughs> Wait, who's doing this? Michelle or, or me? Let's have you do it now. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. Wait, d I don't right know. back to back. I'll fall for it. <laughs> yeah, why don't we give it, like, well, why don't we do the show and then after, after some time has passed when he's probably had a couple of beers in him? Then we can do it. All right, all right. Okay. So we can warm up his voice in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you hang up on me, you piece of shit? Well, and maybe he'll text Ramona. <laughs> maybe we got disconnected. Call back and tell her to start with an apology. Do I want to put it? my pickle in your butt. <laughs> do we want to <gasps> try it one more time? <laughs> we'll try it one more time. And then we'll try it yeah, again he, after the show. I bet, he, I bet he won't answer. So if you're Wait. ready to leave a message, be prepared. Oh, yeah. Just be like, before you hang up, let me just explain myself. Let me apologize. Yeah. Aww. I doubt he's going to pick it up again. I bet you're going to have to leave a message, but I bet he's going to hear it. Okay, he's going to listen to it right away. Go ahead. Right. Septic service. I'm not available right now to take your call, but if you leave your name and number, I'll call you back as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Lord, baby, it's Michelle. We got disconnected. I'm going to try calling back later, okay? Don't hang up on me. Okay, I disconnected. All right, cool. God, even I'm aroused. Surely he's not going to fall for this again, is he? You know, we keep no. saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't we saying that 10 years ago? I think I said it like three days ago when I talked to him and we ended on a good note. <laughs> Emma's got... Emma's like spiders. They're so gross. Tarantulas. He bought a tarantula. You, you call him out on something and, and, and he can't come up with the answer. He's just like, well, uh, Emma likes spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody still here? Yes. Yep. Yep. See. All right, guys. Um, obviously, you know we're just going to talk about the phone calls today. Uh, but you can steer the conversation in any direction you want. You can just interrupt me whenever you want to. Okay. Sweet. All right. Okay. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> 